Many people don't understand the role of the left arm, hand, and wrist as a right-handed golfer. We call it the lead arm in golf instruction. And so many people are trying to pull, turn, and really not use their hands and wrist properly. So when we look at me here, so many people are trying to pull, turn, and hang on. And that's really not going to create speed in your golf swing. And I want people to understand you can create a lot of speed by using your lead arm, hand, and wrist, or your left arm, hand, and wrist as a right-handed golfer. So here I am, again, pull, turning, and hanging on. Everybody thinks that we should hold these angles coming in. That's what we need to work on and keep doing that. They even stick an alignment rod up the shaft of the club so that when you do this, you don't hit yourself with that alignment rod. That all is gonna take speed out of your golf swing. And if you look at me here hitting a golf ball, you're gonna see when I come into impact, you're gonna see that my club is not past my left arm. In my world, that means I'm not a flipper. Flipper is when the club passes the left arm early. The left arm is what keeps the ball from going left. And a great drill to understand how to get your left arm more what we would call forward or toward the target is to hit balls and look where my left hand is. It's way up on my left thigh, but hit balls and let go with the right hand. And if you keep this left arm moving through impact, that's going to keep the ball from going left. But we don't keep the left arm moving and hang on. We let it go. We want to let the club go. We want to feel our, our hands and wrist hitting this golf ball. At some point in here, the left wrist cups or goes into extension. We don't want to keep those knuckles down and not allow this to happen. I could show you a lot of swings where so many golfers, when their right arm gets parallel to the ground, the shaft of the club is up here. That's because they're using their hands and wrists to create speed. So if you look at me here, here I am again, pull turning and hanging on. And now here I'm using this alignment rod and I'm whipping it and look at the whip, look at the whip. But again, look where the left arm is as long, if the left arm's doing its job, you're gonna be okay. Now, some people can release early, and we do see that a lot where people release early, but what happens when they release early? They're not using their arm correctly. So if we see someone here releasing early, where is the left arm in hand? It's back here. So really what the issue is, is the left arm in hand is not up here have not kept that left arm moving. So don't just pull, turn, and hold. No, you've got to whip it. And you've got to understand your left wrist is cupping. Now, somebody would say, oh, that's an early release. Yeah, it's probably a little early, but I'm really just wanting to show people what the left wrist does in a golf swing. And once that club head passes, that left wrist goes into extension cups and the left arm folds and goes up. So if you're struggling with creating speed, you got to start using your left arm, hand and wrist to create more speed in the golf swing. And you have to understand the blend of how you use your arms, hands and wrist. Thanks.